must have been 65 or 66 while I was studying. I was sitting there checking out the new ladies. Then suddenly she came in. We both had very strong reaction. And from the moment we met, it started happening. Hannah was a part of a 68 generation. She was fearless. We were interested in the psychedelic. Deliberately looking for something that's better. When you were interested in the mind, that's where you would go, to Nepal. At that time, Kathmandu was a very, very special atmosphere. I had the glimpse of the mind. But we'd found something that gave meaning to everything. I want you to do this work, start Buddhism in the West. For us, Buddhism was the beginning of a big journey. On buses for two days, non-stop. Without food in Russia, she just went on and on. Well, South America was quite a story. She was living Buddhism. At that moment, a split manifested. It spelled trouble, and communist Chinese authorities were very much part of it. Only 40 years earlier, waged a war against Buddhism and completely destroyed Tibet. I was eyewitnessing totally crazy things. Very, very dangerous. And Hannah, in those most difficult moments, she said with a smile, I'm ready for everything. I could feel that she had found something she wanted to live for. Death is not something one needs to be afraid of. People flew from Australia, Argentina, Mexico, Russia, Nobody really leaves. <laughs>